Welcome back graduates, my name is Elizabeth and today I'm going to show you an awesome update that we did with the slide out cart. Now I know that when we gave it to you it was awesome as, it, as itself but then we, re we realized that you know working with other clients that they have a couple core features that we were missing and so we're going to give you this update for free and it's going to just be in your email and then you're just going to have to download it and then apply the settings and you're good to go. So a couple features that we added was a customer notes, um, a threshold, and then the biggest one is a cart upsell. And that's all in the theme settings. And all you're gonna have to do, like I said, is just copy and paste. So let's, so let's get down to it. All right, so let's see this in action first and then see if you guys even like it. So let's scroll down and I'm just gonna add the cold brew trio. And I'm gonna add this to cart and then there you go. And then I'm gonna go and add this one because I just love coffee so much. And here you go again with the line item properties. Um, so I'm just gonna do this and then add to cart. And then I see the line item properties and I added these to cart. Now down here you see a really cool upsell feature that we gave you and you just add that. And then also I set a free shipping threshold um, cap to I think it was like a hundred and once I reach a hundred then I'm eligible for free shipping um, and then also I have uh, a notes here um, if you want to send it to your customer save note and it's been saved and then I have the view cart option or I just have a checkout which um, we give you all these settings so let's go into where they are and how to change them and enable them so I'm just gonna reload this and when you do have the uh, when you have copied and pasted the cart drawer, you're just gonna, the cart drawer uh, section, you're just gonna see it down here. And then to the uh, left side, you're gonna have your sidebar. And then you're gonna have on the right side, all your settings for that, for that section. Now, if you do have a smaller computer, um, all your settings um, might be on the left side. Anyways, so down here, you have your show taxes and shipping text. And what that looks like is going to be like this, right down here. So you can toggle all these settings on and off. Um, you can just go back and forth and, and, and see which one. So view add to cart button, that's gonna be right here. And then it goes to your cart. And then you can even change the text too. Instead of view cart, you could do like um, show cart, anything like that. And then show payment options. Um, you can show this, you can change out this text if you want and you can toggle it on and off. Uh, so that is going to look uh, very similar to, it's gonna look, hide bar, it's gonna look like this. So you can have the option to to uh, toggle that on and off. Um, and then here is the free shipping threshold. I have it set to 100 right now. This basically means that once my customer reaches $100 or more, they're eligible for free shipping. Uh, we gave you a range slider so you can set it to however much you want and however you know little they want. Um, if you set it to zero, they're not going to get the free shipping. Uh, it's not going to be applied. Uh, and it also shows you down here in the tiny little tooltip here. And then also we gave you the uh, settings to change the text. Keep this, when you do, keep this in brackets, the amount. And then you can change this, this text here. So anything that's uh, bolded in here, keep it between the brackets. Um, then your description, you can have this default one. Uh, that we wrote for you, or you can change it and say anything else that you want uh, once they have reached that cap. Um, and then the cart upsell. So this is based on tags. And for it to look like this, let's show you again. Uh, right now we only have, I think, three products in the uh, cart upsell. So this is gonna be created in the product section based on tags, like mentioned before. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, you can change out the text here you know, recommended to you, recommended for you. Um, this, this pairs well with, you can have that kind of text. I would leave, you know, the, the image size to be 120. And then the button can be shop now or add this now. And just remember that it's gonna be on a slide out cart. So um, you have to take in consideration the, the, the smallness of it and then the button size of that too. So add looks like the perfect size for that um, or add this even. Um, and then the cart note is the other part. So you can have this uh, feature toggled on and off. This is the cart notes that looks just like this as well. So in order to do the tags and to set them like this, so 
we've done it in a way where you're going to go into a specific product and then you're going to put in the the tag upsell colon and whatever the product handle is and then for that particular product when that whenever that product is added to cart that's those are the upsells that are going to be shown and displayed if you have if you want to upsell that's on another product you haven't assigned the tag it's not going to be displayed it's only on the products that you assign it so I'm gonna give you an example so notice how studio cold brew has twice as strong and then studio brew so studio cold brew if I go into that product studio cold brew and go down to your go down to your tags you're gonna see upsell colon studio hyphen bag and then um, upsell colon dance this was just the URL in the in the very beginning so in order to find the URL let's backtrack you're gonna go down to a product and you're gonna click on edit website SEO at the very bottom this is going to be the product URL handle not this before and not the page title but just down here so sometimes what I do is I open a, uh, a notepad and I just put in upsell colon and then I paste that two or three times so I don't have to go back and forth um, so Codio or <laughs> studio cold brew that's the that's the product URL handle for this so let's say Studio Cold Brew. Let's say on um, Twice as Strong. I have no tags on here right now, so I'm going to show you as an example. Um, close out of this, nothing's in my cart. If I go to that Twice as Strong Brew and I add this to cart, I only have my notes enabled. There's no upsell, nothing like this be, be, being displayed. But let's add some upsells to it. Uh, so I'm going to go back into Twice as Strong once it loads and then I'm going to go and add those those upsells so edit SEO and twice as strong okay that's the same product so I want to leave so let's see sorry about that all right I'm just gonna open a new tab here so I want studio brew to be displayed when someone purchases my twice as strong one so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find so it's studio hyphen bag I'm going to go back into my product here the twice as strong I'm going to go and type in upsell colon and whatever the product handle is so it's going to be SCUD studio bag can't spell so I'm just going to save that and save now I want another just another product possibly um, let's see and then I'm gonna want twice as strong brew scroll all the way down get my SEO I'm just gonna copy that go back into my main one that I want to display the upsells up sell colon and just copy and paste and then I'll save and then I want one more so let's go into this was that one and then I'm just going to do cold trio get the URL handle for that and then go back into twice as strong and then I'm just going to do upsell colon and save so when I when a customer adds twice as strong all these upsells should show up so let's just go back into here refresh and now you see twice as strong was added and these upsells are visible you can have two you can have one you can have four once it becomes more than three it does become a slider so I can add this and then I will save my note and then I will check out that's how it works those are that's the update uh, for the Dawn slide out cart and that is how you handle the uh, upsells on here so we're gonna give you these updated zip file in your email All you have to do is copy and paste and if you want to see the the code just go into edit code and then go into that section right over here we're gonna do it for you so go into the section eg cart drawer and this is the new uh, the new section that's just gonna be updated all you have to do is update the eg cart drawer section not nothing else so this whole code is just going to be copy and pasted into the same exa exact section and that's all you have to do and then press save and there you go hope you like this video 
uh, definitely comment below if you uh, like it. If you don't, what are the features you'd like on it, um, on, the con on the cart drawer, or just in general, you know, Dawn theme or Adventure theme. Um, so right now, this only works on the Dawn theme. But if you want other features, uh, let us know what you'd like on other themes. Now, do take into consideration, please, that we can't cater to all hundreds of thousands of Shopify themes as, the, you know, it's not our code base, um, but it does work on, you know, Dawn theme and then other themes like the FAQ and then the Parallax do work on, um, Parallax does work on other themes as well. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Thanks.